the D80 and D20 accept up to four different input signals at once. The input connectors on the rear panel are generally controlled in pairs. So, inputs 1 and 2 form one pair, and inputs 3 and 4 the other. All four input connectors accept analog audio. Connectors 2 and 4 can also be configured as AES-EBU digital inputs. In this case, they accept sampling rates of 48 and 96 kHz. There are only four physical connectors, but since they represent eight different input signals, both amplifiers distinguish between a total of eight input channels. Input channels A1 through A4 for analog signals and channels D1 through D4 for digital signals. These labels can also be found on the rear connector panel. The input source for each amplifier channel can either be a single input channel or the sum of several channels. To configure the individual physical inputs for the desired combination of analog and digital signals, let's go to the device setup menu. On the home screen, just tap the device name to open the device setup screen. On the right hand side you can see four different tabs. To go to the input mode screen, simply tap input. Here you can configure the input connectors in pairs. Tap A12 or A34 for analog and D12 or D34 for digital. You can configure any combination of analog and digital inputs. Just like any other DSP unit, the D80 and D20 DSP needs a clock signal to work properly. Both amplifiers have an internal high quality clock which is used as long as there is no digital signal present at the input. As soon as one of its input pairs is set to digital and there is an AES signal present, the amp syncs its internal clock to the incoming AES audio stream. If both input pairs are set to digital, you have to select the input to which the amplifier should sync manually. It is not possible to sync to both input pairs at the same time. To select the sync source, tap the sync button next to the input selection. The actual sync clock status is shown in the field below.